Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, today I will be showing everyone uh, autographs that I got from this past weekend at Pocono. And by far this year was the most for autographs I feel like. And getting close and in person with the drivers too. Um, first off, here's the program for this weekend. Uh, pays tribute to Dale Jr. and for what he has done for Pocono. It's a pretty neat program cover right here. And now for the autographs. Um, first thing, if you came here for diecast, I did not get anything. The uh, reason is because of the fact that a few weeks ago I was down at Charlotte and I spent a lot of money down there as it is. And so, you know, I figure might as well uh, give my wallet a break, I guess if you want to say. But uh, Friday, I uh, spent the day pretty much in the Truck Series garage, and I got a lot of autographs. So first off, here we go. John Hunter Nemechek. Signed in blue Sharpie. It's uh, pretty neat. Came out pretty good. And then got Christopher Bell to sign. For Brad Kozlowski, he had um, pretty much Austin Cendrick and Chase Briscoe and himself on this uh, hero card. And I got Chase to sign on his side. So pretty neat. I like the design of it. Chase was really nice of signing. The back side for it. Nothing really on the back side for, well, except for Christopher Bell, but this is basically like John Hunter's uh, bio and everything right there. Up next is Ben Rhodes. And then Noah Gregson. And then pretty much everyone was crowding against him pretty much uh, to get his autograph for this week. Uh, Kyle Busch. Got him twice this week and I'll show you the other one that I got. And now for FanFest at Pocono, uh, it was chaotic, to say at least. Uh, got Dale Jr. to sign this car right here. It's the uh, 2007 Elvis Presley car. Autograph, it, it came out pretty good. Uh, came out decent for, you know, how many people are around. Uh, Dale was just signing away and moving on as usual. But um, Silver Sharpie came out pretty good. And then another driver I got to sign also is uh, Brandon Castle. A very unique autograph, I should say. Um, it's almost as if the L comes down and then he just signs like his last name onto the side. It's unique. <laughs> and finally, for Friday autographs. Kurt Busch. It's also at the uh, fan fest, and then the other side is for the Haas. Alrighty, so for Saturday, uh, that's the day where I got most of my autographs out of the uh, three days, pretty much combined. And um, you know, with qualifying and the race being on the same day. Uh, it had its pros and cons, which I will talk about in the next segment for Sunday autographs. But for Saturday, first off, let's start off with uh, my main guy, I should say, with Chase Elliott. Um, pretty much in, before the first practice session started, um, I waited at his hauler for him to come out. And I was the first one to uh, have him sign. 
and he had a gold sharpie in hand and I must say it came out pretty good and you know this is the uh, 2016 Daytona pole winner that I had him sign and also I had him sign a uh, rookie card of him from the uh, Panani Torque series it came out pretty good too and then on the back side Later on in the day, I had his crew chief, Alan Gustafson, sign the rear window also in, in gold. I had him use my gold sharpie that I had. And, um, and it came out pretty good, to say the least. Um, basically, with chases, I was the first one for him to use it on, so it came out pretty sharp right there and fresh relatively right, so for the next one uh, for hero card autographs I should say got Denny Hamlin to sign right after um, the second practice session he was signing for like a lot of people like he took his time signing for a lot of fans appreciate that for him and also from Sunday's winner got Kyle Busch right here the Eminem's Caramel car right there. Some stats and a little bio. And then also had Eric Jones sign. Like no one wasn't really going up to Eric Jones to uh, ask him to sign. So I figured I might as well take the opportunity and ask him from to sign myself. Well, I had a little bit of a disaster happen behind the camera right here as some of my autographs that I got on Hero Cards uh, decided to take a trip off of my desk and pretty much I had to restart from where I left off with Eric Jones right there and so right here I got Matt Kenseth to sign on here um, I really like how Joe Gibbs racing with uh, Kenseth and Suarez, like how the hero cards look, like it's almost as if it's like a picture, with um, like something you take off from like the computer and then you pretty much have it processed and scan it through the computer and have it print out. Um, the texture of this pretty much is like that. Here's the back side for it. Like the feeling of it and like it's very glossy too. Um, for example, like right here, Suarez got on the sign pretty nice, nicely right there around the yellow. His autograph, I must say, it's, uh, it's very cool. And he is very, very interactive with the fans. And, you know, for being like that, you know, you get a lot of respect from a lot of people. And that's how you acquire fans. Um, right here, uh, here's my third time I got Chase. And I also got Alan to sign right there. Chase right there. Pretty much cornered it. Or, not really cornered, but he cramped it in there. And, um, he... I, was like one of like the last ones to get him before he got into his hauler right after the second practice session. I'm not gonna complain about that. You know, he took his time right there. The back side for it. And then right here, got seven time right here, Jimmy Johnson. It's pretty good hero card right here. It's one of two. And on Sunday they had the other hero card out. That one I like a lot. Pretty much the same back side to it. And on to Sunday. Right, so for Sunday's autographs, um, I got a, f a few of them. Nothing too major. Um, pretty much some of like the uh, repeats from other drivers and and uh, some first times that I got autographs from from other drivers but um, basically with qualifying and the race being on the same day 
uh, like I said in the Saturday segment for like a few seconds, it has its pros and cons. Um, the positive side to it is, you know, you get a lot of action in one day other than seeing the racing. You know, you see qualify and then you see the race later on in the afternoon. Um, it has its pros right there. But the negative side, the fan interaction, I felt like, and I saw this from a first point of view, it was limited, um, I must say. You know, with qualifying and racing, you know, with like so much time that you can't really spend interacting with the fans. Um, you know, it also depends on the driver too. Like, I felt like that, you know, that time was taken away from some drivers, but, you know, others made time for it, for the fans. And, you know, it, it takes a lot. And plus you also have like, you know, team meetings and, you know, sponsorship, uh, pretty much appearances to uh, go on with the day and into the afternoon, following up at, up to the race, I should say. And, you know, I still feel like that, you know, if they're going to continue this for next year, for like the two race weekends, like I feel like it's going to bring a lot to the sport from, you know, transportation costs, you know, being trimmed down. You know, basically that's going to be saving... Uh, the fans and the teams themselves money from, you know, traveling. And, you know, that's what I heard about that too. But, you know, enough of me rambling about that. Uh, let's go on with the autographs from Sunday. Uh, right before the race, I got Michael McDowell to sign a uh, trading card right here. Came out pretty neat. I had him sign... Right before, yeah, right before the driver's meeting. Um, after qualifying, oh shoot. After qualifying, I got Casey Kane to sign right here on the Great Clips Hero card. And right here is pretty much like a coupon, save $2 off a, at Great Clips. It's the back side. And then. Heading into driver intros, I got Amy McMurray to sign. And then also heading to driver intros, um, Chase uh, signed my Napa uh, Salutes hat from last year. And he pretty much recognized me from uh, yesterday, or I should say Saturday. And, you know, him and I had a small conversation, like a, hey, how are you, type of thing, and, you know, good luck today. And, you know, he said, yes, sir, thank you very much. You know, that was uh, pretty neat of him. And uh, I had pictures taken also with Chase and uh, Kyle Larson, so if you want to check those out on Instagram, go ahead. And also on my Facebook, uh, it's linked right on my YouTube channel, um, pretty much like right on the top bar. Whereas like all my other social media accounts. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. And also leave any questions regarding of my 500 subscribers Q&A that I'll be doing very shortly. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.